Hello everyone, this is Margarita with City Gal Papatry and I am bringing here part two of my um, tag flip. This is the 12 days of Christmas tag flip and we're gonna jump right in. This is tag number six. I use these uh, this stamp die to cut out both the uh, rectangular stamp and the little waves, which is just the op opposite side of the the die cut and then I have this scrap paper banner that I cut with um, the fishtail ends I have this gold doily that I'm going to stick down with some glue dots and then I also use that uh, scallop circle die for a little cloud shape here I'm just putting down my little fishtail banner behind my stamp this is like a postage stamp die. And then as you see there, the like negative cut looks like little waves. And I adhere that with some foam squares. And then um, my little cloud behind my swan who's swimming. <laughs> and then I add a little bow, a red bow on the side, a little satin bow on the corner and then for my number I didn't have a number seven that I was happy with so I just cut one out of white scrap cardstock and so this is just me cutting the, the number seven out and I wanted it nice and large so it's contrasted against the background of all of the details from the tag I glued that down and that completes that tag. Uh, for number seven, it's a seven maids or milkin, and I use this die to make a hill. It's a scallop stitched edge die, and then I use this other die that is for waves to make waves. I'll try and include that in the description below. And I die cut that out of vellum, and again, it's because I wanted to, it to have sort of like a sky feel the look of you know clouds in the background but not actual clouds just you know just kind of the essence of having the sky behind the hill and so i do use two layers of vellum one is shorter than the other so you can get a better uh, look at the details of the scallop cut at the top and then i trim the excess off and now I use a hot glue gun to glue down my little maid there. And it looks like she's coming over the hill with her buckets of milk. And then I take this little sentiment from my um, ephemera pack and I trim it, uh, or rather I glue it onto a piece of scrap cardstock, that little pattern red and white cardstock. And then I add the number eight from this glitter number sticker. And I just glue that down. Oh, I also added a little piece of lace at the bottom. And then now for some extra detail, I just use my hot glue gun to add some of these little white snowflakes. And this is confetti. I've had this for years. I think I've had this since my wedding, <laughs> which is like a long time ago. But um, yeah, I use them all the time. So I add a few little snowflakes here and there. Our poor maid is uh, getting milk in the snow. <laughs> and that completes that tag. Moving on, I take the Sizzix dies. These are nested dies. And I punch uh, or I, I cut a hole out of the center of this tag. Here's our little dancer. I split the toothpick, um, the little paper from the toothpick open because I'm gonna hang her on the string and she is going to be dancing for us. So I take some thread and I double it up and then I'm going to hot glue it to the top of this outer frame that I made from the nested dies. And so there I'm gluing the thread down. I give it one wrap around. Just make sure it's nice and secure. And before the glue fully dries, I tap it flat. I press it down so it's a little flat. I don't want it to stick out too far. And then I cut off the little tiny tail that's left over. 
and then I bring my string down it's gonna be down the center of that frame and she's going to be right in the middle of that so I spread open the little um, pieces of cardstock that are on the toothpick and then I add some hot glue and then I'm gonna put my thread right down the middle so she's gonna be dangling from the center I just want to make sure that that's really secure because I don't want I don't want her to come off of the string. And then I add some uh, glue to the bottom, and I'm gonna adhere my string to the bottom. And so you can already see she's going to be twirling around. And then I just bring my string over and I trim off the excess, and then I glue down the frame onto one side of my tag. You see, she's swirling already. And once I know that that's down, I go ahead and glue the other side down on the back of the tag, which has uh, music notes on it. It's just music paper. So here's just a little sampler. So you're gonna twist her around and when you let her go, she's just swirling around. Super cute, nice and interactive. And then I glue down this little green velvet bow at the top. I keep it kind of monochromatic on this side for the most part. And then I flip it over and I just add some more details to the other side. So I'm just putting down some scrap pieces of, you know, stripped paper there in red and green. And then I trim off the extra pieces that are showing keeping that little zigzag pattern. And then I punched out this heart from another piece of scrap paper, added a sticker that says nine, and I'm gonna add some little jewel stickers on here, some little jewel embellishment stickers. Some of these are going to be coming to the winner of the giveaway as well as some of these little red satin bows. And if you stay to the end, I'll, get, I'll show you what is included in that tag flip. And then I take a little nine sticker and I put it so it looks like she's holding it in her hands on the opposite side. And then I tie a piece of twine to the bottom. And I think this completes it. Yeah, I just trim off some of that twine so it's not too long and there's the tag for the little lady dancing for number 10 I take a black cardstock and I sprinkled it with or I spritzed some uh, white um, color on it and then I punched out a large or I use a large circle die that I cut the sides off of to have it look like snow and so now I have this other circle die that I want to put over it. And this is my idea. So I want my little uh, Lord of Leap in to, you know, actually, again, be like kind of interactive. So I've never done this. So I'm trying this from scratch. So I'm making this sort of little accordion. I'm making this accordion uh, paper fold here. And I'm adding some double-sided tape. I do add some extra cardstock because I want to make sure that that little tiny piece of paper has more support once I put it down since I'm going to be moving him around this way that I don't want the paper to rip too easily. So I glue that down and then I do the same to the other side. So that's kind of how it's coming along. So it's it's a, it's a sort of accordion piece of paper and then I I pick one of the middle folds and I add some hot glue and I put him down in the center. And then just for, again, for added support, I top that with a piece of cardstock just to kind of make sure that he's going to be staying in place. And then I put um, some foam circles around the sides and the bottom still leaving him room to move around and then I adhere that to my tag and you can see he moves back and forth.
So he's a little Lord of Leaping on the snow. <laughs> and then I go on to the back of the tag. I do return to the uh, little man on the other side um, to add more detail, but here's my 11 drummer drumming and I glue him down on the opposite side of that black tag, right on that little snow hill. I added a um, leftover piece from my die cut from my uh, ladies dancing tag. And then again, I'm just spritzing some white um, paint onto my background so it looks like it's snowing. And then I add this little uh, sentiment says we love snow days and then for his number I didn't have two ones on that sticker sheet but I did have two L's so I used the letter L to be my number one and then since I'm using it on this pattern paper I grabbed the white gel pen and I'm just lining one side of each number so that you can see it better this way it just kind of pops out a little more See, and it, gives it, it, it makes it look like it has some dimension. And then I pop that on with some uh, foam squares. And then on the opposite side, I just put the number 10, some other uh, number stickers. And then I hot glue this uh, red bow that I made from just some thick ribbon that I had lying around. It's a nice satin ribbon. And then as a final touch, I added hot glue gun to the bottom of the tag. And I'm just putting down this little piece of garland that I has like a beaded garland and I think this is from some old Christmas decorations and that completes that both uh, 10 and 11 and then for my 12 which is a drummer drumming I grabbed this piece of a recycled Christmas card it has a little birdie at the bottom carrying a giant candy cane and he's singing a tune there's some little music notes on there so I punched a hole at the top two holes where it looks like there's some ribbon tied around the candy cane with a tag and some holly and my plan is to tie the drummer to the candy cane so he's been taken hostage by this little bird <laughs> who's singing his tune <laughs> um, and then I take some twine and I thread it through the holes I use this like little sewing tool it's for threading um, thread or string in this case twine and so I have enough to tie a bow around my drummer and then I punch another little hole towards the middle of the candy cane so I can put the toothpick in and just give him some extra support and then I tie it down I make a bow and then with uh, my hot glue gun, I just glue my twine to keep it on the right hand side of the candy cane. And then I glue down my panel or stick down my panel with double sided tape. And that's the last one, you guys. <laughs> Those are my, my tags. Here's the, the full... Uh, tag flip and this is uh, number one it's the the partridge in a pear tree here's number two the turtle doves here's the three French hens it's my little hen coming out of that pocket it's in the stocking that's like so fun I love making interactive projects it's just like it just makes it so fun when things can move around and you can touch them and do things with them here's the uh, four calling birds there's my little tab that moves back and forth with the number four here's number five this one's not interactive but i still like the little snowflakes that are peeking from the vellum and this is number six the six geese a laying and so there's my little goose and the little um, blind. I love that little shade that goes up and down. Here's number seven, the swans swimming. And my eight mil uh, maids and milking. It's only one, but you know, we've got the number eight there. And the nine ladies dancing. This is probably my favorite. I just love that feature. I love when the you have the little like twirly things on the cards and stuff so fun 
Uh, my Lord of Leaping, that was also fun to make. It took a lot of thought because I wasn't sure how I was going to make him leap and I didn't want to use that uh, feature that I used in the other tag. Here's 11, Piper's Piping, and then 12, Drummer's Drumming. This was so much fun to make, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this. This is the tassel that I made for the top of this tag flip, but I'm actually going to be giving it with the giveaway tag, which was the giveaway tag flip, which is right here. So as you see, there's the tassel. I'm just gonna um, include it with the giveaway prize. And this is it. This is uh, what I'm giving away. Here's a, a spool of ribbon, it's brand new. And um, that's the first tag. Here's another uh, ribbon pack, also new. Here you have this little Christmas tree with this giant snowflake tag. There's a rosette on the back. And you see there's like a twine sampler that I wrapped around the bottom. So you can use the twine, you can use um, pretty much anything that's on there. You can take off the sentiment that's on the other side. Here's a blank tag that you can use with a little Ziploc bag full of those um, snowflake confetti that I use on everything and some extra tags in the back. And then here's another one. This is a star shaped tag with these red bowls. And this one, again, you can take off that little bottom piece with the Christmas trees on it to use it. There's a giant gold paper clip at the top. You can use the sticker labels that are on there. On the opposite side, there is a snowflake die cut and some journaling cards. So there's a few journaling cards there in, in um, different sizes. And that's also pinched with that gold paper clip. And on the next one, there's this like gigantic gold paper clip. And it's pinching this little um, like paper sampler here at the bottom that you can use for all sorts of things. On the opposite side, you see there's a little gold tassel and that gold polka dot piece of acetate that you can use. It's not attached. Um, these large glitter silver die cuts, those are by Anna Griffin. And then this one has this eyelash trim that um, can be a little tricky to mess around with. I do fix it because here I ended up like pulling it off the wrong way, but um, I do fix it and you'll see. But yeah, so here it's tied from the back. So you open up your little twine there and it opens. And then here's this other, uh, here are these like card pieces that you could use with wording. And again, the eyelash trim that uh, you can use on your projects and then that's holding together this the eyelash so soft it's holding together this trifold card that has the little jewels at the top those are those sticker jewels and then these sentiments which I put on with foam squares but you can take them off to use them and then some more little cards with another gold paper clip at the bottom um, and that's the, yeah, that's going to be the tag flip, the loaded tag flip that I am going to be giving away. The winner will be announced on December 12th. And um, there's still some time to enter if you want to. Just please look back at my, one of my previous videos where I am just giving you the rules and I explain what you need to do for the giveaway. This was so much fun to make. It really, truly was. I don't know why I don't make more of these. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching the process. I hope you learned a few things. I did use a bunch of different types of techniques. If you have any questions or you want to see some techniques in more detail, please let me know. Um, I love hearing from you guys. I don't mind answering any questions. So, you know, if you have any questions about anything I used or any techniques, just, again, include that in the comment section below. And, um... Yeah, I just, I'm just so happy that you guys are here. I hope you're all having a great holiday. I hope that you are all, you know, crafting with joy. <laughs> and I don't know what's coming in the new year with all of the changes happening to YouTube, but I plan on still being here to share with you guys. And I want to bring so many more things for all of you. So again, thank you so much for watching. I, um... Hope you subscribe so you can see more videos coming up and I want to um, see you all in the next video. Okay.
Bye, guys.